Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. It's time to buy a new mattress, and I get it, it's overwhelming. There are so many options out there. How do you know it's right for you? It's like buying a used car, but that's what I wanna help you with today. I wanna to talk about the different types of mattresses, the different sizes of mattresses, how your sleeping position can affect the best mattress for you, other considerations, and then finally, when it's time to buy that mattress, how to best do that, whether it's online or in the store. So let's get started right now. So I wanna start off by talking about the different types of mattresses. And first we have inner spring mattresses. This is the most common type of mattress. They've been around for a very long time. Your great grandparents slept on an inner spring mattress. Your parents probably slept on one. You might've slept on one when you were younger or you might even be sleeping on one right now. They're very, very common. Now, inner spring mattresses, they have coils in the mattress. They're very, very supportive. They're good for back sleepers and stomach sleepers. I'll get into sleeping positions a little bit more specifically a bit later. However, for now you should know Back sleepers and stomach sleepers are usually a good fit for an inner spring mattress. They're also good for hot sleepers. So coils leave a lot of room for airflow. They don't trap as much heat as a memory foam mattress might. So if you're a hot sleeper, inner spring, usually a good match for you. However, if you're more of a side sleeper or you'd like to slowly sink into your mattress, you're not gonna get that feel with an inner spring mattress. Again, they're on the firmer side. You're not gonna slowly sink in. You're also not gonna get the best pressure relief when you're on your side. So definitely keep that in mind if you're a side sleeper. Next up, we have memory foam. Now, memory foam is one of the most popular types of mattresses on the market right now, especially for bed-in-the-box mattresses. Memory foam has that slow sinking feel. So when you're lying on it, you slowly sink into the mattress, feel your pressure kind of melt away. It's also known as a viscoelastic foam. It's the scientific term, but we call it memory foam. Now, memory foam is a great match for side sleepers looking for more pressure relief. It's also good for back sleepers to get some contouring for memory foam. Also, you have joint pain issues or other pain issues, memory foam can be a good option for you. However, if you're more of a stomach sleeper and you like to sleep on top of your mattress, memory foam, not the best option. Then we have latex mattresses. Now, a lot of latex mattresses are made from all natural latex. That means they're eco-friendly and better for the environment. Latex is also very supportive and it's more responsive than memory foam. So it's easier to move around on top of a latex mattress. It's also gonna be more breathable than memory foam. So you're not gonna sleep quite so hot on top of latex. And then lastly, it is a very durable material. So it might cost you a little bit more for the mattress, but it should be a longer lasting investment. So if you want something eco-friendly, something easy to move around on, something breathable, something that's going to last you for a good amount of time, check out a latex mattress. However, again, keep the price in mind. Last up, we have hybrid mattresses. Now, a hybrid mattress is usually going to have coils in the support layer and some type of foam in the top comfort layer. It's going to be either latex foam, memory foam, or some type of poly foam. Now, a hybrid mattress is great because you get the best of both worlds, the support of coils and the comfort of some type of foam. So it's a very, very good match for hot sleepers who still want a foam feel, but want some more breathability in their mattress. It's also a good option for people who want that foam feel, but need some more support. So heavier people like myself, I I usually need some more support, I often go for a hybrid mattress of some kind. It's also a good match for combination sleepers because you get the support of coils and the comfort of foam. So when you're on your back and your stomach, you're getting enough support there. When you're on your side, you're gonna get some good pressure relief, especially if the comfort foam is on the thicker side. Now, there are other types of mattresses like air mattresses and smart mattresses. If you want more information about that, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to check a waterbed out, I just want to say that 1992 called and they want their bed back. But now I want to talk about mattress sizes. First up, we have the twin size mattress. Now, twin is going to be the smallest option available for adults. So it's pretty narrow and not too long. It's going to be good for children, teenagers, and smaller adults. However, if you're larger like me or taller like me, or you want something for couples, twin is not your best choice. Then we have twin XL. And twin XL is going to be six inches longer than the twin. So you get a little more length, but that's the only main difference. Then you have the full and double size. Now, full and double is going to be 15 inches wider than a twin. So you get a little bit more room. So if you want some more room to spread out, also a better option for couples than the twin or the twin XL. Next up, we have queen. Now queen is one of the most popular mattress sizes. It's 60 inches by 80 inches. So a very good option for people who sleep alone and want some more room. Also a good choice for couples who don't need quite so much room. Moving on to the king. Now the king is going to be wider than the queen. So if you do sleep with a partner, you want even more room. The king is a good option for you. When you get to California King, it's going to be pretty much the same size, but it's going to be four inches narrower, but also four inches longer. So I should actually opt for a California King because I'm 6'7", but those are the sizes in a nutshell. 
So I'm sorry if I bored you with all the information about mattress sizes, but it is really, really important. But I wanna know what's most important to you in a mattress. Is it the size, the firmness, the feel, or something else? Just leave your answer in the comment section below. I wanna see what everyone has to say. But I wanna talk about sleep positions and how your sleep position determines what type of mattress is best for you. So let's start with back sleeping. Now back sleepers wanna look for a mattress with a balance of comfort and support. So when you're on your back, you want your hips to sink in the right amount, you want a little bit of contouring perhaps, but you want the mattress beneath that to be supportive enough for you so you don't kind of fall into the mattress. So here at Mattress Clarity, I like to use a firmness scale of one to 10. Now, 10 is going to be the firmest that is sleeping on the floor. One is going to be like a cloud. There's complete softness. So that's our firmness scale. If you're more of a back sleeper, you want to look at something between six and a half and seven and a half. It's kind of called medium firm. Something medium firm is usually better for back sleepers. Now, if you are more of a side sleeper, you want something softer than average. So something under six and a half. So on the softer end of the spectrum. Now that's because you want to feel good pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. But if you're more of a stomach sleeper, you want something on the firmer end of the spectrum, something over seven and a half out of 10. You wanna make sure you're getting enough support over your entire body and specifically under your hips. You don't wanna bow in there, get out of alignment, feel some lower back strain. But that's what you should think about with your sleeping positions and what type of mattress you should be getting. So I get it, this is a lot of information, but we've already done the work for you. We have made lists of the best mattresses for back sleepers, the best mattresses for side sleepers, and the best mattresses for stomach sleepers. Check those lists out on mattressclarity.com or here on YouTube. But now let's talk about what else you should think about when you're looking for a mattress. So let's start off by talking about cooling. Now, some mattresses are going to sleep cooler than other types of mattresses. For instance, as I've mentioned before, inner spring mattresses have a lot of room for airflow. They're gonna have some nice cooling capabilities. So they're really gonna sleep quite cool on most inner spring mattresses. Also hybrid mattresses and then latex mattresses. Latex is gonna be a very breathable material, more breathable than memory foam. Now, memory foam is known for trapping heat, but that does not mean it's always going to make you sleep hot. So make sure the memory foam in your mattress, if you like memory, foam is infused with something like gel, copper, or graphite to make sure it's not trapping so much heat and helping to dissipate heat. Now next up we have weight. So I'm a larger person and a mattress that is a good fit for someone who's 160 pounds like Joe on our channel. Now it's not always the best match for someone of my size. I'm 230 pounds. Now that's because with my larger weight, I press further into mattresses than Joe does, feel some more pressure than he does. So specifically when I'm on my side, a thinner comfort layer might give him enough pressure relief, but someone of my size, I press further in, feel some more pressure on my shoulders and my hips. So whether you're a lighter person or a heavier person, keep your weight in mind to make sure your mattress is a good fit for you. So you also want to think about durability. You're about to buy this mattress. You don't want it to fall apart in like two years. You want a mattress that's going to last you for a good amount of time. Something with high density materials, something durable like latex or high density memory foam or high grade coils. You're going to spend a lot of money on this mattress again and make sure it's going to last for a good amount of time. So I'm single, it's not a big problem for me, but for you couples out there, there's some other things you do wanna think about. First off, motion transfer. Now motion transfer is basically, you're lying down on one side of the mattress, you're trying to go to sleep, your partner gets in and out of bed and that wakes you up. You need your sleep. So you want a mattress that's going to cut down on that motion transfer. Something that's going to isolate each of your motions to both sides of the bed. So you wanna usually focus on something with memory foam if you do sleep with a partner, something with a slow reacting foam. It's gonna cut down on that motion transfer, make sure you're sleeping soundly, even if one of you is moving around at night. And then lastly, you want to think about edge support. So edge support is basically how close can you sleep to the edge of the mattress without feeling like you're going to fall off the mattress. And I've had this issue with other mattresses. So whether it's foam or coils, you want to make sure the edge of the mattress is very, very supportive because you bought the mattress and you and your partner should be able to sleep towards the edge of the bed and get to use every inch of that mattress. So at this point, you might know what type of mattress is right for you. It's time to buy your mattress. But let's talk about the four easy steps to buying a mattress in a mattress store. So first off, do your research. And good thing you're doing your research right now. So go in informed. You're gonna walk into that mattress store and I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be overwhelming. There's a lot of mattresses to look at and that salesman's gonna see you and they're gonna zone in on you because if you're like me, you're an easy mark. So get ready to protect yourself. You wanna have your research done and know exactly what you're looking for. The first time I went to buy a mattress, this guy kept telling me he was going to hook me, hook me with the best deal possible. I thought he was Candyman or something and I ran out of the store. I'm not kidding. I'm never gonna do that again. So go in prepared. Step two 
try out the mattress, lie on the mattress. Now this is one of the benefits of buying a mattress in a mattress store. You can actually try it out for as long as you like. So if you're a side sleeper, lie on your side for a good amount of time. Make sure you're getting the pressure relief you need. If you're a stomach sleeper, make sure you're getting the support you need. Take your time with that mattress and make sure it's the best option for you. Step three, get all the warranty information about your mattress while you're in the store and make sure you understand every point because you don't wanna get your mattress home. It starts to break apart very quickly. You wanna make sure that your warranty is gonna cover those kinds of issues. Step four, plan to negotiate. Now, one of the things about buying a mattress in a mattress store is sometimes you can negotiate with the salesperson. If you're a great negotiator, that's awesome. Congratulations. I am a terrible negotiator. So if you're like me, bring a friend, bring a parent, bring a spouse, someone who is good at negotiating. Make sure you're getting the best deal possible on this mattress. So the other way you can buy a mattress is online. And for a long time, people kind of scoffed at buying a mattress online. Like it comes in a box that can't be comfortable. But now bed in a box mattresses are a huge part of the mattress market. And I've tried a lot of bed in a box mattresses and I can say they're very, very comfortable, very supportive as well. But how do you buy this mattress? What's the best way to buy an online mattress? Well, again, there are four easy steps. The first step is, again, do your research and you're doing it right now. If you want help comparing different types of mattresses, which you can do in a mattress store, but you can't do online, definitely check out some of our comparisons on mattressclarity.com. We have written comparisons and video comparisons as well on YouTube. Step two, you wanna make sure you're getting the best deal possible for your mattress. So first, check out mattressclarity.com. We have a lot of great discounts for a lot of great mattresses. Also, a lot of companies have some awesome deals and sales around the holidays. So 4th of July, Labor Day, get your mattress around those times, get the best deal possible. Step three, this mattress is going to come to your house in a box, and sometimes that box is going to be heavy. So ask for a friend's help transporting inside and up to your bedroom. Open the box, take out the rolled up mattress, put it on your framework foundation, cut through that plastic. It's a very easy process. If you're a little bit worried about the weight of that mattress though, I would definitely go with the white glove delivery option. A lot of companies have white glove delivery. Some guys will come, set it up in your house, take the packing material away, and take away your old mattress. This is a very good option. Step four, use your trial period wisely. Most bed and box companies have have some sort of trial period, like 90 nights, 120 nights, or sometimes a whole year long. Make sure this mattress is the right fit for you during that trial period. So if you're a side sleeper, it's soft enough for you, pressure relieving enough for you. If you're a back sleeper, you get a nice balance of comfort and support. If you're a stomach sleeper, it's supportive enough for you. If it's not a good match for you, you spent a lot of money on this, send it back. A lot of these companies have very easy return policies, so send it back and get the right mattress for you. Woo, congrats, you made it. That is a lot of information. But now you have all the tools you need to find the right mattress for you. But if you want more information, you're a little bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. But that's about it. Just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding products, check out mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this, so hit the like button and subscribe.